Blade, and welcome to part 27 of the bathroom tutorial. Um, we're going to start off by... what? I'm trying to fix this little mesh smooth thing we have going on here. Let's select all these edges here. Now we'll just try raising them. Next, what we'll try is insetting this polygon. Ooh, that was it. Fix that problem quite nicely. And finally, let's just um, target weld this little corner vert to here. And then do the same. material again. Just going back and forth. And you can pretty much design not only a bathroom, but uh, any part of a house using the same method. Just varies ever so slightly. Bring this up. Let's zoom in on this thing. Rotate it 180 degrees it looks like. Sink it into the wall. Alright, next it's going to be six inches off the tub. So box length six. Again, make sure to save. And to bring this down. good. Next it's going to be 24 inches from the far wall over here. So rotate it 90 degrees. And put that in the wall. And bring this over to match. Alright. Delete. We now have our little soap holder. So we're actually starting to have something that looks like a bathroom. I'm just going to do a few minor tweaks here. Well, I hope they're minor. But select these two edges right here and just give them a chamfer. But don't make it very big. Just a little bit. And then give it about... segments because we want a, a smooth corner if you will. Go to the top viewport. And 
can actually see that. Uh, we're just going to need to bring this out a tad just so that it covers up the edges there. There we go. And in fact, we're going to do the same with these two. So just give those a quick chamfer. Not quite so abrupt though. Smaller, so we need less segments. Four should do just fine. Then a similar chamfer over here. This is just preparing it for the eventual rendering. Uh, because if you have corners that aren't aligned, um, or that are perfectly at right angles, it screws up the light. We're not going to do these corners in here, because there's going to be tiles going up the walls, and they come out a bit. So we're going to actually have to do some resizing eventually, but yeah, they can wait for now. Next, I think we're going to do the shower bar, or the um, towel bar. So let me get some, actually, yeah, I think I have one. I do. So go into the front here, Alt B, Files, choose this one. Right, so it looks just like a shower bar thing. So what you have, um, hide selection, a cylinder, a cylinder the approximate size, give this one about 30 segments, I'd say is a good number. Okay, there we go, angle snap, it's being a little difficult there for a second. Convert it to an editable poly. Select what you need, which is the uh, Polygon. Alright, get out of the four view momentarily. Okay, and then let's just scale it inward a bit, I think. Even a bit more. There we go. Just press OK. Next, we're going to bring it out a bit to about here and then scale it back up. I'm not sure how many um, things I used, so just control click, deselect, and then control, deselect. Let's count how many we have in between here. Two, seven, so one, two, three, four. Click that one. That one, that one, uh, hmm. let's try every two. We're not going to follow our plan exactly, but chances are this one won't even work knowing me. Oh, it did, what do you know? So, inset those. Okay, and then extrude them. Okay. Next, select this polygon here, extrude. Okay, uh, inset it a bit. Then extrude. Next, what you're going to do is delete that. Select this, bring it out. Okay, rotate it 180 degrees. So, attach, and then select all these verts here, Oops. scale them inward, weld, should all weld together, and now you'll have a perfect extendable post, if you will. You just extend it to whatever you need. 